All right, so I'm going to talk about matrices, and this is just very basic information regarding matrices. So, um, a matrix, uh, an example of a matrix, let me do a few matrices. Let's do All right, let's do two, three, four, five, um, one, seven, two, negative one, negative three, four, five, eight, one, zero, one. Three, seven, six, five, two, one, four, seven. So these are all different types of matrices. Um, matrix or matrices, they have elements, what we call elements, these numbers or things, expressions, whatever, inside these matrices in these particular locations. So each matrix obviously has a number of rows and a number of columns. So we usually represent um, rows by I and columns by J. So that's our uh, notation for row and column. Um, <clears throat> This one would have two rows and two columns. This one would have two rows and one column. This one would have three rows and three columns. This one would have two rows and four columns. So when we talk about the you know, rows and columns of a matrix, we're talking about the, um, I guess this book, our book calls it the order of a matrix. It's also known as the dimension of a matrix, or DIM for short, dimension, or order of a matrix. So when we talk about the dimension or order of a matrix, we talk about the number of rows and the number of columns, and we represent it in this form, I by J. This is a little like multiplication symbol. So I say, you know, uh, you know, for example, this matrix. This matrix has two rows and two columns. Two rows and two columns. So I say this is a two by two matrix. Two rows by two columns. This is a two by two matrix. The order of this matrix is two by two, or the dimension of this matrix is two by two. This particular matrix has two rows and one column. So I say this is a two by one matrix. It has two rows and one column. Um, this matrix has three rows and three columns. It's a three by three matrix. The dimension or the order of this matrix is three by three. Three rows, three columns. This one is a two by four matrix. It has two rows and four columns. So the dimension of this matrix, or the order of this matrix, is a two by four. And it's always row first and then column next. So um, two by two, two by one, three by three, two by four. So if I say, you know, write um, a three by two matrix, that means I want three rows and two columns. And let's just say whatever you want it to be. Two, one, uh, so three rows and two columns. Two columns, three rows. This would be an example of a three by two matrix, three rows, two columns. So that's called the order or the dimension of the matrix. Um, now if I have a matrix, so matrix notation, the, the numbers of the expressions within the matrix are called the elements of the matrix. So AIJ is one element of a matrix. So um, I is, again, the row number, and J is the column number, and these are the subscripts, and A represents the element of a matrix. So if I write a matrix, I don't know, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, negative 1, 0, whatever. I don't know what this order is. What's this order? This is a 3 by 4 matrix. And let's say that I want to find the following elements of this matrix. Find the element A12. Find the element A32. Find the element A13. Find the element A34. Um, for example, if I say find the element A12, that means find the element that is in the first row and the second column. First row, so here's the row, first row and the second column. This is my element A12. So A12 is 3. Let me do this in different colors, okay? Let's assume that I want the element um, A32. A32. So if I say I want the element A32, I want the element in the third row and the second column. Always row and then column. 
So third row, second column is 9. So that A32 element is 9. This is A13. Let's assume that I want element A13. So this is the element in the first row and the third column. First row, third column. So that element is 4. Uh, let's use this color. Um, let's assume that I ask for the element A34. That's the element in the third row, fourth column. One, two, three, third row, fourth column. That is negative 2. So this is how we represent what we call the elements of a matrix. And I could list all of them. A11, A12, A13, A14. So sometimes what you'll see is, in general, uh, a matrix represented A11, A12, A13, blah, 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 to A1n, A21, A22, A23, A2n, let's say blah, 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 AM1, AM2, AM3, AMN. To represent a um, that's an ugly, a M, N. to represent a matrix in general. So um, again, the first number is the row, and the second number is the column. So M rows, N columns. So A M N is the last row and the last column. So this is a general representation sometimes of a matrix. Um, now you're going to see matrices represented by capital letters. So Let's go back to these. Um, let's say that I want to call this matrix, this is matrix A, this is matrix B, this is matrix C, this is matrix D. So we represent a matrix with a capital letter. Um, in order for two matrices to be considered equal matrices, they have to have the same order and same elements, which would make sense, right? That's an E. Same order and same element. So let's say I have 2, 1, 5, 7, 2 by 2 matrix. Um, and I state that this matrix is equal to X, Y, um, 5, and Z, right? And I want you to find X, Y, and Z. Well, in order for these two matrices to be equivalent, to be equal, obviously they have to say, have the same order, and they do. This is a 2 by 2 this is a two by two, but they also have to have this, they have to have the same elements in the same location. So if two is a one one, the element in row one column one, x should be the same as that. So x has to be two. If um, one is the element in this matrix in, in row one uh, uh, column two, y is in that same location here. If these two are the same, then y must be equal to one, right? Obviously five is here and five is here in row two column one. 7 is row 2, column 2. In the place of z here, if these two matrices are equal, then those have to be equivalent as well. Some more information about matrices, um, what we call square matrices. Square matrices have the same number, so they have equal number of rows and columns. So I equals J. So 2, 3, 4, 5 is a 2 by 2 square matrix. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3 is a 3 by 3 square matrix. Um, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 1, 0, negative 1, negative 3, negative whatever, <laughs> negative 0, <laughs> negative or whatever, make it 0, and then negative 2. And then whatever, 3, 2, 1, 4. This is a 4 by 4 square matrix. So a square matrix has to have an equal number of rows and columns. So 2 by 2, 3 by 3, 4 by 4, 5 by 5, blah, 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 and so on and so forth. Um, one other thing about a little bit of information with matrices, what we call the identity matrix. Identity matrices, I should say, because there's more than one. These are square matrices, so they have to have the same number of rows and columns, um, with ones down the diagonal 
and zeros everywhere else. So let me show you what I mean by that. So let's do a two by two square identity matrix. So here is a square matrix, two rows, two columns. It has ones down the diagonals and zeros everywhere else. So this is the identity matrix for a two by two matrix. The identity matrix for a three by three matrix, particularly, right? It's a square matrix. It has three rows and three columns. Ones down the diagonal, zeros everywhere else. This is the identity matrix for a three by three matrix. I'm not gonna do a lot after this because they're getting bigger and bigger. <laughs> Obviously, this is a four by four matrix, four rows, four columns. It's a square matrix, and it has ones down the diagonal with zeros everywhere else. This is a four by four identity matrix. So the notation that we use um, to represent an identity matrix, so um, I2 is the identity matrix for a two by two. I3 is the identity matrix for a three by three. I4 is the identity matrix for a four by four. You know, I n is the identity matrix for an n by n matrix. Obviously, again, they're all square matrices. So this would have n rows, n columns, ones down the diagonal, zeros everywhere else. So I5 is a 5 by 5 matrix, and it's an identity, and so on and so forth.